What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today we have Arctic fixing their own problems before even anybody of us from review segment and from reviewers in general notice the problem. Now here's the thing, here we have a liquid freezer 2 service kit that fixes the problem with gunk buildup in liquid freezer 2. In general right here I have three models and this one is the latest sent out, not in terms of like a newer version, but it's QC certified and it's controlled and this one actually doesn't have a problem with the copper cold plate and the gasket inside, so there's that. Now first of all I would like to also say big thumbs up to Arctic to addressing the issue beforehand and before even some of you guys notice the difference in thermals, um, addressing the thermal throttling as well on your processor, which eventually could, after a couple of years, damage your processor. This will give you a chance to fix your liquid freezer and give it, well, basically original lifespan and the cooling performance that you deserve with the liquid freezer. Now, what are the issues? So. We have gunk buildup coming because of the chemical reaction. Now service kit solves the issue and it's quite easy to change it. Uh, the liquid freezers that are actually affected with this problem are the ones produced between May 2021 and March 2022. And the issue is they weren't vulcanized properly. So this is causing chemical reaction between the copper cold plate and the gasket itself. The result to everything is the residue buildup. Now, performance issue is the problem right here, but this is not an electrical issue like we had problems with uh, NZXT H1 and the riser um, creating a contact and they didn't resolve that issue after quite some time and they managed to do eventually the service kit that fixes the problem and basically the entire new riser. Now also taking into consideration fractal learning from NZXT and basically addressing the problem with their controller in fractal torrent case, this is also a great example how the company should address the issue and basically give us consumers uh, some more security when it comes to using their own products. Now, as already stated, this isn't an electrical issue, but more a mechanical which will impede the flow of liquid over time and hurt the performance of the copper. Now, they also did one more thing. They extended the warranty from two to six years on all liquid freezers. So basically, if you have a two year warranty, uh, you actually get six years instead. This degradation is basically a slow process, but Arctic is resolving the issue beforehand and that's quite uh, appreciated without a doubt. Basically what happens is you won't see it immediately spiking with thermals, the process won't spike with thermals, because this degradation and chemical reaction takes a couple of years, but eventually it will cause problems. Now, the worst case scenario, gasket uh, more or less entirely deteriorates and gunks up the cold plate where you might see thermal throttling or potential damage to your processor. This service kit from Arctic is a good way to fix your liquid freezer beforehand, before it even happens, before it even starts and basically clean up everything inside and continue using your liquid freezer in a standard way and of course ensure that the processor doesn't get damaged or you don't get thermal throttling. Now if you're not sure for instance that your liquid freezer uh, is caught up with the gasket problem and the chemical reaction, they actually have as you can see right here on this, this is the newer version which has the QC certified sticker right here on top right here near the tubes running out of the radiator and beneath the box on the bottom part you also have that same sticker so there's that as you can see i have the 240 addressable rgb right here which doesn't have that sticker and we're going to open this one and i'm going to show you literally how to do it now there's also one more thing to add this repair if you do it yourself doesn't affect uh, the standard warranty that you have so 
another cool thing. Now what you get inside the Liquid Freezer 2 service kit? You get a gasket and the cold plate, which I'll show you how to do it properly. You get additional MX-5 thermal paste, you get liquid that can be used to top up your liquid freezer. Now, of course, when you compare this 360 or even 240, this isn't enough to fill up the whole radiator logical, right? This is just for topping up your liquid freezer. If, for instance, some uh, evaporation happens and you're just needing a bit to avoid those bubbles and everything else. You get two additional screws. Basically, you have four of them right here on your block. So two are additional just in case. And you get the MX cleaner wipes for removing thermal compound from your processor and from your cold plate. Even though you're not going to use the old cold plate, you're going to use the complete new one that you get inside the service kit. Now, what I can say and how to start right here. So I'm not going to use the newer version because that one is properly working and they sent out uh, this one just for an example so you guys can see how the version that is certified and controlled looks and what can you expect when you open the box and how to identify the one that is and might be affected and the one that isn't affected like this one. So basically, let's check it out. We have here all the parts that you need and here we go. So you're going to place the radiator on the bottom part of the table and you're going to twist this part right here. The block needs to be placed like so. Then you're going to diagonally unscrew four screws from the copper plate and you're going to see the gasket and the bottom part of the copper plate, of course. After that, you could use your gloves or anything similar to that to remove the gasket just in case for the gunk if it build up during the period of time of usage so you don't accidentally touch your eyes or anything similar to that. After that, you use the wipe. You can use the MX Cleaner wipe and clean up the gunk buildup if you have any. Place gasket on top because you do have to be very careful how you place it and what orientation needs to be. After placing the casket on your uh, liquid freezer, you could top it up with the liquid that you get with the service kit. And then you have in the copper plate two cutouts, different sizes. And the smaller cutout needs to go on the top part of the little dentin right here so that the orientation is proper and you get a proper flow through the copper and through the fins. This is important because this is how you'll achieve optimal cooling basically after you finish that and when you place the gasket and the copper plate uh, diagonally tie up the screws on top so you get a proper and equal fixture of the cold plate back on the cpu block and that's basically all there is to it now of course this would be much easier if someone else holds the pump block top and you do all the work on top here so you don't spill additional liquid outside and this of course might happen because we're talking about closed loop and you're entering the closed loop from the top side which should keep and it will keep the liquid inside but for instance you don't have steady hands or something i would suggest somehow fixturing it like this so you get equal and even um, position of the CPU block and you don't spill literally anything from it. Basically that's it. You get a new gasket and a new copper plate that won't have any issues with uh, cooling, thermal throttling and eventual gunk buildup inside your liquid freezer too. And that's it. I mean, I have nothing to say. It's quite easy fixture. Maybe for some of you will take um, an hour or so. Maybe some of you will do it in like 15 minutes and that's basically it. But uh, all in all, big thumbs up to Arctic for uh, addressing the issue beforehand and before any one of you had the problems with thermal throttling, eventually damaging your CPU or anything similar to that. And the cool thing from Arctic is that everybody who has Arctic liquid freezer in that time period that I mentioned, which was produced in that time period, you get a free service kit upgrade. Basically, they sent out this service kit box with all the necessary parts that you need to fix the issue with gunk buildup. And that's it. 
I mean, literally, as I already stated million times in my past reviews, comparing uh, uh, Arctic Liquid Freezer and some other AIOs, and in general, customer service and support, Arctic always comes through without a doubt and gives us uh, basically some sort of a reassurance that even though if they even notice their product flaws, they will definitely address them properly. They will give maximum support to the consumers and eventually produce products that are fixed with the past issues, giving us new products that will completely function without any additional flaws. So guys, basically, I'll place the link below for the liquid freezers, of course, because after all, I'm not doing this video uh, just because of the service kit, even though I do want to give a heads up for you guys that have uh, liquid freezers in that time period, that you bought them in that time period. But also I want to give you additional, some sort of a um, shout out to Arctic and their liquid freezer AIOs that actually do the work and cool your processors quite nicely. Check out the links below for each of these. And of course, check out the link on how to apply with the liquid freezer too. Additionally to that, you can scan the QR code for the online manual and follow the instructions properly and you won't miss anything. Everything will be quite easy to do it and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and if this video helped you or you just want to praise Arctic for being an uh, honest uh, manufacturer and a company that actually takes care of their customers, don't forget to subscribe, keep the channel rolling and of course, so you don't miss any future videos, that will definitely include Arctic products. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.